Happy Sabbath dear viewer. I hope you had a wonderful week. Today we are going to learn insights from the psalmist and uh, it's I'm Wilson of the Ambo. I'm here with my friends. Paul and Uderi. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so you can also tell us how your week has been. My week has been wonderful. I hope yours has been too, dear viewer. Uh-huh. Mine has been great and I thank God. Uh, yeah, mine has also been great. I also hope uh, you had a wonderful week. If you had a week with ups and downs, the Lord is still good, yeah? Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Claire will start us off with a word of prayer. Okay, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for enabling us to meet here, Lord God, so that we can uh, discuss this lesson. We ask that may you be with us, may you guide us until the end. For this I pray, believing and trusting you in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. amen, amen. Longing for God in Zion. The, the memory text is from the book of Psalms 84 verse 2 which says, My soul longs, yes, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. You, you know, the songs of Zion are joyous hymns that magnify the beauty of Zion Amen. and the sovereignty of the Lord who reigns from his holy mountain. Mm. And uh, the lesson continues to state that these psalms often praise the merits of the Lord's house Mm. And express a joy for the sanctuary that can be found in other in other psalms as well. Many of these psalms are composed by the sons of God, mm. and uh, who are first and who had first and experience of the blessings of the Lord House is mm-hmm. the temple musician. Mm. And there comes a question: What makes Zion the source of hope and joy? You know, even before we speak about Zion being the, the source of hope and joy. Mm-hmm. As we begin uh, reading from the psalmist mm-hmm. in the memory text, mm. the longing that the psalmist has mm. for this Zion, mm. that to the point that he even feels in his in his own words, mm. faints mm-hmm. for the cause of the Lord. Yeah, this this shows the importance of this Zion, mm. and so should Zion be important to us also mm. to date, mm-hmm. right? And so, Zion really is where the Lord is, mm-hmm. right? and, and and this is and this is what what brings in the the, the importance mm. um, uh, of, of of Zion, mm. that one must long to be with the Lord, mm-hmm. because as the as the psalmist finishes his verse, mm. he says that my heart mm. cries out for the living God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So should us as Adventists be today. That our hearts should long mm. for the living God. Amen. Mm. Yes. So, as my brother said, uh, the psalmist, his soul longs. That his soul longs for Zion. Mm-hmm. That even his flesh, mm-hmm. yeah, they cried out for the living mm. God. Mm. That's how this um, hymn writer, rather, mm. How he really longs to be in Zion. Mm. This is how this is his longing. Mm. So I, I I somehow feel that maybe to appoint uh words fail what words failed him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to express how he really longs to be there. Mm. And and looking at the history of these psalms, as my brothers also said, mm. that uh these songs were written by the sons of Korah. Mm. And these were people who had experienced the first hand mm. uh experience of what God can do. Mm. Some perished, yeah, mm-hmm. f- as we have read earlier on. Mm. But these are the remnants, the people who remained. Mm. And now these people have an experience of God. Mm-hmm. These are people who have learned to mm. serve the Lord. Mm-hmm. And now they even wish, now they're expressing their wish, mm. how their soul longs to be in mm. this Zion. This Zion is a chosen place of that the God has chosen mm-hmm. for his people. Mm-hmm. The way he also chose Israel. Mm. So they really long to be there because it's a place of hope and joy mm. for them. Mm. Yeah. You know, uh, something something very small. Uh-huh. I don't know if you realize how practical the Lord is with the Christian life mm-hmm. uh-huh. today. Uh-huh. Do you realize that the sons of Korah, they worked in the temple. Mm-hmm. They literally were within the vicinity Mm. Of yeah. the Lord's covenant. Mm. Sure. But then they rebel mm. and they sin against the Lord. Mm. The same really applies to us, even as Adventists today, that we have the present truth, mm. and yet somehow, mm-hmm. as we read in the past lesson mm. uh, past, uh, last week, mm. that we often forget our, our, our past mistakes. You know, mm. 
history repeats itself unfortunately mm. same as 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 what happened to to Kora's sons mm. Mm. but then as 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 we as we have read read in the past uh we come from from a place where we have read about the psalmist talking about creation mm. Mm. the psalmist then goes on to talk about uh, sin mm. and and the, how the israelites suffered because of it mm. the psalmist then goes ahead to talk about the mercy and the love of god mm. Still, there's hope for us. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, be- mm-hmm. because you know Zion, Zion has been 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 written here as, as a symbol mm-hmm. of a a symbol of divine blessings and mm-hmm. refuge. Because mm-hmm. a place of refuge, Zion is also referred to a, to a, to in a parallel as, as even uh, an interchangeably with Jerusalem, which means Zion and Jerusalem. They they they, they speak about the Lord's sanctuary mm-hmm. and the center of God's work of salvation, mm-hmm. even to the ancient world. Mm-hmm. So. The Zion that the psalm is saying that longing for God in Zion, longing for God in His dwelling place, mm. yeah, longing for God in 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 in, in, in central place because mm. uh, you know the the blessing of Zion again overflows to to all the world. Mm-hmm. It's not only limited, let's say, to only an Adventist, yeah, but it's to the whole world mm. and even to the hands of the earth because the Lord's the Lord's person person and grace exists through the boundaries of the holy place. Mm. Zion is is the joy of all the heart. Amen. Yeah, that's Amen. that's from the Psalms 48 verse 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anything else? You know, uh the somewhere I read that the Lord not only reigns mm. but then he reigns on high. Amen. Mm-hmm. So whatever whatever that that is in our lives that we feel that is out of place mm-hmm. that we feel will keep us from getting to heaven. Mm. Mm-hmm. We really ought to remember mm. that the Lord not only reigns mm. but he reigns on high. Mm. So he's above everything else mm-hmm. that 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 may keep us from getting to to Zion, mm-hmm. getting to a place where we have communion with the Lord mm-hmm. as as it should be. Mm. And this reminds me of of uh, a quote I, I was speaking to a friend and and, and you know he said mm-hmm. in passing that mm. heaven is cheap enough. Mm. Heaven can also be cheap enough for us mm-hmm. if only we decide that the lord must reign in our lives mm. Mm. and that ought to be the prayer of each and every one of us even as we worship each mm. and every sabbath mm. that lord please keep me mm. Mm. keep me that i may always be in zion that i may always be in communion with you mm-hmm. amen yes in his dwelling place amen a day in your court is better than a thousand mm. we read the book of psalms 84 to 4 mm. we, we 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 say something where the, the psalmist is is speaking about longing to dwell in the sanctuary because we have learned in the previous day that Zion has been depicted here as a, as a holy place mm-hmm. Zion and and Jerusalem cannot be cannot be used interchangeably mm-hmm. yeah. they they always mean the, the same thing mm-hmm. then why does the psalmist long to dwell in the sanctuary why d- does he do long to dwell in Zion yeah you know uh, as as the psalmist opens uh, the scene mm-hmm. we can have this picture mm-hmm. <laughs> He says that how amicable mm-hmm. are the tabernacles all Lord of hosts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the word amicable means friendly. Mm-hmm. Pleasing. Mm. Uh cordial. Uh-huh. Something that that has no error. Perfect. S- something that is perfect. Absolute. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> so as as the psalmist sees that the the the, the tabernacles of mm-hmm. the Lord mm. are friendly to him. Verse 2 says that His soul his soul longs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for the Lord. Amen. And not only that it longs for the living God. Mm-hmm. You know the, the, there's something to be said here about a living God. Mm-hmm. In our lives we have different kinds of gods. And and I was speaking uh to 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 a friend of mine and we were basically defining what uh a god is to you and what a god can be to to clear mm. and uh we found this basic definition of what a god could be mm. and we spoke about something that is basically you you, you put it higher mm-hmm. than christ mm. may be it a job mm-hmm. be it someone mm-hmm. a person mm-hmm. anything that that it could be so the psalmist speaks about the living god mm. There's something to be said here about loyalty mm-hmm. about understanding who we are even as adventists we seem to have lost 
the yearning yeah. to be with this living God yeah. somewhere along the way uh-huh. that that we have forgotten like the Israelites in the past as as we read in last week's lesson mm. yeah what you're speaking about here it's, it's the sanctuary of the Lord mm. because there's a hope there's a hope when we look and live you know the, you remember the Israelites when when they were beat this the snakes in the in the wilderness mm-hmm. mm. when they looked at the, the, at the bronze snake they were to live mm. yeah. and there's something again that uh, I think we should take home mm-hmm. is that a day in the Lord's court is better than a thousand mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which means there's something that we should not deviate, deviate from that the Zion we are speaking about here is we, are, we have learned it's the sanctuary mm-hmm. It's dwelling with God, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which means being to being closer to Him, mm-hmm. nothing goes wrong. Mm-hmm. We are sure that we are going to sail through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very true. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know, uh, as 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 the psalmist speaks mm-hmm. in eighty four verse verse ten, Psalms, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he says, "For a day in the courts of the Lord mm-hmm. is better than a thousand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had rather be mm-hmm. a doorkeeper. Mm-hmm. You know, being being a doorkeeper." doesn't seem to be the most exciting job. Uh, <laughs> But if if you were to be told to choose a job for yourself uh, as as an accountant really, mm-hmm. you'd you'd say that uh for me being a janitor is is not my thing. Uh-huh. So I'd rather be an accountant. Mm. Claire as a lawyer, you'd speak about uh maybe being a chauffeur. You you'd say that for me being a chauffeur is not my preference. Mm. So I'd rather be be a lawyer mm-hmm. as i am because that is what that is what i've always wanted to do mm. but then the psalmist mm. who was a king mm. king mm-hmm. david mm-hmm. he goes on to say that he'd rather be a doorkeeper in mm. the sanctuary <laughs> the lowest of the lowest of jobs mm. but then he prefers that mm. to being a king Mm. than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Yes. Mm. Can you imagine? that that is that is a a, a real prayer. Mm-hmm. Something that someone wished for. What mm. what could keep us from wishing for the same in our lives? Really. Mm. That is the question we are asking today. Mm-hmm. Because the ultimate goal here mm. is to dwell in the house of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not to chase the bag uh-huh. as 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 we always wish to do. <laughs> always Mm. Yes. Yeah. You know uh <laughs> when, when when reading Psalm 8410 mm. uh when he says that uh, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God. Mm. You know I relate a, a doorkeeper to uh you know <laughs> a bouncer in the club. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. They would rather withhold people outside. I mean their work really is so minimal. Mm. When do they get but when do they get to maybe be involved in the rather maybe in the show because they are watching people go in mm-hmm. get out mm-hmm. so when the psalmist really talks about that i would rather mm-hmm. do that mm-hmm. i would rather mm-hmm. stand there and let people in and let them out than you know than to dwell in the tent of wickedness mm-hmm. that i'd rather be in the house of my father mm-hmm. And behold his goodness his mercy mm. because they where God reigns mm. really there is peace there mm. is hope for everyone mm. so even in our today lives we should really long to be with our God that mm. we would rather spend a, a day within his goodness within his mercy mm. yeah than to be outside there where we will at the long run will perish Yeah, because there's a there's a there's a blessing that comes by being in the sanctuary mm. Mm. because if you read the psalms 84 verse 11 says for the lord god is a sun and a shield mm-hmm. the lord will give grace and glory mm-hmm. no good good thing will be withhold from those who walk uprightly mm. mm. and uh, if you go to verse uh, uh, i mean if you if you if you go to verse 10 says For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my Lord than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Mm. 12 says, O Lord, O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in mm. you. Mm. Which means for the for the modern Christian there's a hope that comes when we reflect there's a hope that is reflected in the earthly sanctuary mm. to us. And now there comes a question how do we know even if how do we now even begin to imagine what this experience would be like to be 
by the hope that comes from the sun, earthly surgery, the hope that, hope that comes by the Sabbath, the hope that comes by dwelling uprightly mm-hmm. with the Lord. Not only even the hope, mm-hmm. the blessings. The blessings, yeah, mm-hmm. because it, 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 what else can be, who, who else can be blessed by the sanctuary? You know, mm-hmm. in Psalms 63, 63 verse 2, mm-hmm. the word of the Lord says, to see thy power mm-hmm. and thy glory, mm-hmm. so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Mm. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, mm. my lips shall praise thee. Mm. There's beauty mm. in beholding Christ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that is that is exactly what the psalmist sees mm-hmm. in the sanctuary. Mm. The loving kindness of the Lord. Mm-hmm. The power of the Lord. Mm-hmm. The glory. Mm. And then in, in Revelation uh Revelation 20, 21, mm. verse 3, the mm. word of the Lord says, And I heard a great voice Amen. of heaven say, mm. Behold, mm. the tabernacle of the Lord mm. is with men, Amen. and he will dwell with them, mm. and they shall be his people, mm. and God himself shall be with them mm. and be their God. Mm. Amen. Is there anything better mm. than God mm. being your God? Mm. And dwelling among you too. And dwelling mm. with you. Mm. There's nothing mm. better than that. Mm-hmm. I assure you, Willis, I mm. assure you, Claire, <laughs> I long to be in a place where I know that the Lord will sort out all my, all my problems. Mm. Sure. If I am hungry, mm. he fed people in the Bible. Mm. I know I won't die. Amen. Because the Lord himself mm-hmm. is immortal. Mm. Mm. I know I won't fall sick. I know I won't cry. Mm. There's beauty in Christ. No, there's Amen. beauty in Christ. You know, also, also the reason as to why the psalmist uh, he's saying that a day in the house of the Lord, yeah, is mm. better. Mm. Uh, when you read Psalm 84, verse 4, mm. it says that blessed are they mm. that dwell in thy house, mm. they will st- they will be still praising thee. Mm. Five says, Blessed is the man whose whose strength is in thee. In mm. whose heart are the ways of them who passing through the valley of Baca mm. make it a well. Mm. The rain also fills the pool. Mm. That they go from strength to strength, mm. every one of them in Zion mm. appeareth before God. Mm. So in their pilgrimage, yeah, mm. the hope that these people have in the Lord, they're strengthened. Mm-hmm. They never weary mm. as uh, normal pilgrims do. Mm. They never get tired. Mm-hmm. That when when they when they when they imagine mm-hmm. that uh, staying in the presence of God, when they get when they behold that, mm-hmm. their strength is renewed day mm-hmm. day in day out. They never weary, mm-hmm. so they keep moving on. Mm-hmm. That even in the, when they are in the desert of Baca, mm-hmm. it's an oasis for them. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. So this is how these people long to be in Zion. Mm-hmm. This is how these people are uh, long for God, mm-hmm. and that is why they can say that a, a, a day in God's courts is better mm-hmm. because they know and they have experienced. God first hand. <laughs> so his <laughs> blessings, they first come th- to those who are near God yeah, yeah. and then they will spread further. So that is why dwelling in the house of the Lord is very more important. His blessings will, you'll first get a, a first hand yeah. experience, not experience, blessings mm. from him. Then they will radiate and they will move further. Because mm. verse uh, 11 says, for the Lord God is mm. a sun mm-hmm. and a shield. So the rays will reach you fast before they get to others. Mm. So better, better a day in God's court. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen, man. Because you know the 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 the, the, the is about abiding with God. Mm. Because those those who abide in God through faith receive His grace regardless of the place where they are. Mm. So what we should learn from this is that abiding with God, abiding with Him is better than. Not being with him a, a day, the experience mm-hmm. that we have with God is better than the thousand days. We'd say that we we have not had the experience with him where we have slipped away mm-hmm. having that experience. You know, you know, David. Uh, it's it's it, it's it's someone. Even God says, a man after his own his own heart, mm-hmm. because of he knew what God could do. He mm-hmm. had trust in him because you know last week lesson you spoke about lesson from the past mm-hmm. that God will guide the future years 
guided the past mm-hmm. that he had faith in god so these having abiding with god mm-hmm. is so better abiding with him comes with blessings and having faith in him mm-hmm. there's something that we should not forget mm-hmm. abiding with god through through faith we receive grace mm-hmm. regardless of place where we in so pray for the peace of jerusalem amen brother willis mm-hmm. just before we pray for the peace in jerusalem mm-hmm. A question comes mm-hmm. uh, to you as a Christian, mm. as a servant, the Adventist. Mm. Someone will say that, what difference does it make? Mm. It's just a day. Mm-hmm. Sabbath is just a day. Mm-hmm. What difference does it make? Mm. This is a very good reference mm. that a day in the course of the Lord mm. is better mm. than a thousand elsewhere. Amen. Mm. I don't think there's a better argument mm. <laughs> than this. <laughs> There's never there's no better argument. It's true, it's true brother. I I I agree because you, you, you know the, the the psalmist gets refuge in the Lord. Mm. Because the one time experience he has it 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 I, let's let me say it covers all the days that he has, he has missed. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, <laughs> it sure. covers all the days that he has missed. Yeah. Yeah. So pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Mm. Mm-hmm. So Psalms, let's read from the book of Psalms 122, verse 1 to 5. And uh, get, we get something here where the, the psalmist expresses the, prickly, the pilgrims' excitement upon their, tra- their arrival at Jerusalem. Mm. The pilgrimage to, Jeru- Jerusalem, uh, to Jerusalem sorry, were joyful occasions when God's people joined together three times during the year to commemorate God's goodness towards them in the past and the present. Amen. That, yeah. That's Deuteronomy 16, uh, verse 16. Mm. Jerusalem, Jerusalem was the center of God's, God's nation's life because it contained uh, the testimony of Israel mm. and the true thrones of judgment. The, the testimony of Israel here refers to, to the century that was at times called the tana, tabernacle of testimonies. Mm. Uh-huh. Why, why would Jerusalem termed as the tabernacle of testimony? You know, to date... Yeah. Today, Jerusalem is considered sacred. Mm-hmm. Very true. And and people even pray mm-hmm. facing Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. They believe that if they do that, mm-hmm. then the Lord will hear. Mm-hmm. And in time past, mm-hmm. you know, there's nothing new under the sun, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Jerusalem was mm-hmm. also considered to mm-hmm. be a place of refuge, mm-hmm. the dwelling place of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And as, as as we read on, mm-hmm. it was considered to be a place where mm. there was peace, mm. where there was prosperity, mm. where there was goodness, simply because of of, of the goodness of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And as as we have read that, the pilgrims mm-hmm. they really appreciated what the Lord had done for them mm-hmm. in time past, and even now, mm-hmm. even in the present. Mm. And one of the things that they really appreciated. Mm. Was the God was sorry was mm-hmm. God's goodness mm-hmm. towards them? Mm-hmm. Now, in the Lord being good to you, mm-hmm. is in their peace. Mm-hmm. There is because where else can you find peace mm-hmm. except mm-hmm. within the vicinity of God? Mm-hmm. God yeah. Himself is a peacemaker. Mm-hmm. A peacemaker. Huh? There's a way that he 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 brings people together. Mm. Mm. He's the prince of peace. Mm-hmm. He's the prince of peace. Mm. Actually, that is the reason why he's referred to as the prince of peace. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because you know, uh, the, the, let let let's go dig dig by dig back into the the the, the scriptures. Psalms one twenty two verse one says, I "Was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Mm. Our feet have been standing within your gates, so, O Jerusalem.'" Jerusalem is built a city that is compact together where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to the testimony of Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord. Mm. For the thrones are set there for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity be within your places, for the sake of the brethren and the champions. I will now say, peace be within you, because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your goodness. So, why does the psalmist, the, the prayer, the prayer now, that pray for the peace of Jerusalem. 
may they prosper who love you mm. why why pray for the peace of jerusalem why 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 now the pilgrimage is pray for the peace of jerusalem you know uh in in jerusalem jerusalem was like any other city mm. just like nairobi mm-hmm. or cairo in egypt like any other city mm. it had laws and rules which govern mm-hmm. the people there just like the testimony which were the 10 commandments mm. governed israel the rule of law mm-hmm. and justice were never to be separated mm-hmm. just like even christ himself mm-hmm. is loving he's also just he has mercy but still mm. he is just mm. so the justice mm. is what really i feel brings in the peace mm-hmm. in the area if 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 i had a disagreement with claire mm. if i was a thief mm. and i had stolen a uh, chicken mm-hmm. from claire <laughs> <laughs> then uh, then the law will come in and say mm-hmm. that uh, mm. this person is supposed to be mm. is supposed to be jailed for maybe three years mm. but then justice will say mm. to claire mm. forgive your brother mm-hmm. mm. and and th- and though 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 the justice is there from claire mm. that forgive your brother mm-hmm. i will still be considered a thief because the law says right. thou must not steal mm-hmm. mm-hmm. these two are not to be separated mm-hmm. there will be peace between us mm. but still justice, justice mm. would have uh endured mm. so as as the psalmist prays for peace mm-hmm. he asks that the lord who is the greatest judge of all Amen. can still mm. be faithful to the people mm. can still administer justice mm. to the people there mm-hmm. that is my take Amen. Amen. you know with with peace mm. with there being peace much can be done in that land mm. If uh there is there are chaos in let's say for a certain country mm. maybe investors would draw away mm-hmm. much will not happen there mm. so if even when you read uh Psalm 147 mm-hmm. 12 to 14 mm-hmm. the bible reads that praise the lord o mm-hmm. jerusalem mm-hmm. praise your god o zion mm-hmm. for he has strengthened mm-hmm. the bars of your gates mm-hmm. he has blessed your sons within you mm-hmm. 14 most importantly says he makes peace in your borders he satisfies you mm. with the finest of wheat amen yes mm. you were, the last part that he satisfies you with the finest of wheat when there is peace much is done in that uh, area or within that uh, nation mm. so when there is the peace of god when you know there ca- there can't be peace in certain uh, in a certain place when people don't know god mm-hmm. there can't be no peace when i don't follow god's commandment mm. if i cannot love my neighbor mm. then i don't know god mm. and if i don't love my neighbor and i constantly cause scales mm. then i don't know god mm. so most importantly the relationship uh, this is vertically Vertical, yes. with god should be there so that the peace horizontally can be can be also be there mm-hmm. so So Jerusalem so praying for peace in Jerusalem means that mm-hmm. praying for peace for God to be in communion mm-hmm. with his people mm-hmm. so that his people mm-hmm. can also be mm-hmm. can love each other they mm-hmm. can peacefully coexist uh, mm-hmm. coexist mm-hmm. and when we peacefully coexist with my neighbor mm-hmm. i can simply go and take the good news of jesus to mm-hmm. to him or her mm-hmm. because we live in peace mm-hmm. i i also i mean peace with my god mm-hmm. Yeah so that that is the uh, significance of mm. peace mm. that's why uh, the psalmist uh, is saying mm. is praying for peace for Jerusalem mm-hmm. because now if there is peace in Jerusalem mm. then it means the people of Jerusalem mm-hmm. know their god they are in peace with their master mm-hmm. and when they when they are in peace with their master then there also there's peace between 
themselves. Amen. 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 Because they, thank you so much. The, the, because the, the, the lesson writer, if you go to is the, the second last paragraph, mm. says mm-hmm. the psalm teaches us that the prayer of the well-being of the community of faith should be the main subject of the prayers of God's children. Amen. Mm-hmm. Because only the strong and the united people of God can proclaim the good tidings. Mm. Tidings of God's peace and salvation to the world. Wow. Mm. So because, you know, if we, if we get divided, then how will we proclaim this love? We can't. Eh? How will we say that we love God if we don't love my neighbor? Very can't. True. So that's why we have the we have, we, 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 we have the, the mandate to pray for peace, to mm. pray for communion mm. among ourselves and to strive for harmony among the people that we live, we live with. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so Zion, the home of all nations. Hi, you are speaking about Zion, mm. the home of all nations. Again. Yeah. Mm. Zion again. Zion again, the whole of nation. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to, to read from the Psalm 87. We, we, and what makes Zion such a, an esteemed place? Because, you know, we, we are spoken about Zion, a dwelling place of God. And I'll speak about the spring for peace in Zion. Mm-hmm. Now, Zion, a home of all nations. Mm-hmm. If you, you know, from, from this, it, it doesn't say Zion, a home of uh, a specific people. Zion, home of Kenyans. Zion, home of uh, <laughs> <laughs> of, of Egyptians. But it says Zion, home of all nations. Yeah. Mm. So, so let, let, let's go for to Psalms eighty-seven, one to two, uh, because you know that Psalm eighty-seven is a hymn celebrating Zion as God's God is as God's speci- specially chosen and beloved city. Mm. Mm. The foundation of God's temple is on Mount Zion. Mm-hmm. At the end of time, Zion will raise above all mountains, signifying the Lord's sovereignty and supremacy over the world. So, oh, 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 why? Oh, what makes Zion such an esteemed place that now we, we're celebrating about Zion? Even seeing that Zion will be raised high above all mountains. Yeah. Brother Willis, mm. there's this promise that is given in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jesus says, I have gone to prepare a place for you. Mm-hmm. That where I am, mm. you may you also, also be. be. Mm-hmm, man. He doesn't say that I have gone to prepare a place. That where I am, mm. Willis may also be, mm-hmm. not Poland. Mm. Claire may also be, mm. not Willis. Mm-hmm. He doesn't say that Kenyans may also be, mm. <laughs> and not Israel's, mm. Israelites. Israelites. Mm. Mm. Or he doesn't say Ugandans, mm. Tanzanians. Mm-hmm. He doesn't mention Eddie. Mm-hmm. He says that you... Mm. So meaning meaning that there's there's something deeper. The Lord wishes for everyone to be there. Mm. If only you mm-hmm. decide. Mm. If only you want to be there, then the Lord will help you to be there. Mm. You know, in, in, in Psalm eighty seven, mm. as, as as we have we have read, mm. that the foundation mm. of the Lord mm-hmm. is on this mountain, this Zion yeah. that we speak about. Mm. Mm. And the Lord goes on to say that he loves the gates of Zion more than oh. all dwellings of Jacob. Mm. You know, here he refers to Zion as a whole mm. and not only Zion, but the people that dwell mm-hmm. therein. Mm-hmm. So the Lord refers to all believing people, mm. Mm. all the people who have accepted Christ mm. as their own. Mm. And he tells he tells them mm. that the foundation of the Lord mm. is with you. Mm. As a Seventh Day Adventist, mm-hmm. this really touches on us mm. that the Lord has given us this foundation, this mm. this message of uh, the, the, the message of the uh, the, mm. the good news. Mm. Mm. And and then he tells us that go and proclaim it to all the world. Mm. Then the end shall come. Mm. Now, if if we are to get to Zion. Mm. If at all we are to get to Zion, mm. we must have believed. Amen. Not only believing, mm. but we also must have the foundations mm. of, 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 of the Lord. Mm. And then Zion will be our home. Amen. You know, Zion will not be a home for someone who has doubt. Amen. As the Israelites did. Mm-hmm. Zion will not be a home mm. to a thief. Uh-huh. We must have overcome. Mm. <laughs> Zion will not be a home mm. to a liar. Uh-huh. All these mm. vices that, that, that we know of, mm. 
mm. all the weaknesses that come mm. with the human nature. Mm. That is where the Lord gives mm. the commandments. That is where the Lord gives the ark of the covenant mm. in the sanctuary. Mm. Mm. Uh, the, we, the sanctuary is not, is not just there mm. to be seen. Mm. The sanctuary is actually there mm. to give the people direction mm. on what is supposed to be done. Mm-hmm. And if the Lord really dwells mm-hmm. with you and mm. I mm. as a Christian, mm. dear viewer, mm. wherever you are, mm. as a Christian, mm. we are given a perfect example mm. of what to follow. Mm-hmm. And that is what we ought to do mm. for Zion to be our home. Uh-huh. Yeah, before Claire reacts, there there are glorious things that I've said about Zion. Mm. I mean, we say the glorious things of thee are spoken, mm. Zion, city of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And if we read Psalms 87, 3 to 7, something says, it says, glorious things are spoken of you, city of God. I will make mention of Rabba, Rahab and Babylon to those who know me. Behold, O Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia, though this one was born there. What, what are these glorious things that are spoken of Zion? Because Zion, as we started, he has spoke, stated about something about Zion is not for the doubtful. Mm. Yet it's the home of all nations, mm. but it's not for the doubtful, mm. not for those who don't, who, who, who doesn't abide with God. You know, people, you know, people are not peaceful. Mm. <laughs> He just studied about uh, pe- praying for peace for Jerusalem. Mm. What are these glorious things that are spoken about Zion? So w- when you read Psalm uh, 133 verse 3, mm-hmm. um, the second bit of it, let me read the whole, then we'll get to mm. draw something from mm-hmm. there. Mm. It says, it is like the dew of Hamon mm. coming down mm. from the mountains of Zion. Mm. For there, mm. the Lord commanded mm. the blessing life mm. forever. Mm. Zion has been highly spoken of. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it also reminds me of Israel, mm. the way God chose Israel mm. and spoke great things about her. Mm. He has chosen her, he dwells there. But as Poland said, Uh, God, God did not, uh, he does not preclude other people from there. Mm. He has simply chosen it there, but it does not mean that other people are precluded from dwelling in Zion and experiencing these blessings that come from Zion. Mm. It really means that uh, whoever chooses, mm-hmm. whoever wishes, mm-hmm. whoever wants, mm. whoever whose desire mm. is to dwell in Zion mm. will be there. So uh, even the lesson writer says that uh, Zion over all other places in Israel that were special gathering places of mm. God's people in the past, such as Shiloh, you know, there was Shiloh and Bethel, mm. but Zion was chosen. Mm. But thus the psalm affirms that true worship of God mm. is in his chosen place mm. and in his prescribed way, mm. that there is a way the Lord loves the, his things to be done. He's a God of order. Mm. There's how... So because he has chosen mm. and this is how he wants his things done. Mm. So it's it's required of us to also mm. do them like how he wishes them to be. For example, mm. when God says that uh, worship me in truth and spirit, mm. we should do that. We should not uh, try to go the other way. Mm. So, you know, the glory that Zion draws mm. from all the nations of God and other borders, mm. it, they are extended to mm. the other whole world that's why paul and said that it's it's not for the chosen mm. it's not for so and so mm. it's not for person a or person b but mm. it is for every place mm-hmm. and therefore so it's portrayed as a sp- but spiritual birthplace mm-hmm. for people who accept the lord uh the resurrector also says that so when people were registered they were registered as according to their wh- where they were born mm. that is in maybe in Nehemiah 7:5 mm. that says then my god put it into my heart to assemble the nobles the officials and the people to mm. be enrolled by genealogies mm. how where you are born around which area where are you born so that's that's how people were being mm. registered mm-hmm. in the past and um So even so then uh Zion has been now the birthplace of many nations mm. because in verse 3 when he says that I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon mm. to them mm. that know me mm-hmm. behold Philistia entire with Ethiopia this man was born there that it it's an identifier where do you come from mm. where is your genealogy 
flowing from so uh to a, a larger extent that that means then when you know when we say hmm. you now let me draw a uh, father a bit hmm. when we say you are born in Kenya hmm. that's where you come from mm-hmm. there are privileges you receive because you are Kenyan hmm. yeah when i identify you as Kenyan when you are in Kenya there are maybe because you're not a foreigner there are things that will automatically apply to you hmm. yeah so also when you are identified to be from zion mm-hmm. how 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 good is that you mm-hmm. know privileges the privileges you get the blessings of god because god dwells there mm-hmm. there are blessings that you get to receive mm-hmm. so when it when zion is identified and when the lord is giving now a new identity mm-hmm. so he grants them privileges that come from coming from mm-hmm. zion mm-hmm. yeah so even the lesser writer Uh, says that three times the psalm states that this, that is psalm 87 mm-hmm. it states that uh, the nations are born in zion mm-hmm. meaning that the lord provides them with a new identity mm-hmm. and grants them all privileges mm-hmm. of lawfully born children of zion mm-hmm. the children of zion were blessed god was among them the blessings of god radiated they flowed because his ark of testimony mm-hmm. was with them So how how then could for people who are identified with Zion mm. people who get privileges mm. when now when God redeems them their identity changes mm. their genealogy changes you amen. know mm. amen. amen yeah mm-hmm. where they they are identified by where now they come from it's a different place now they come from mm. Zion mm. now they get to enjoy the privileges whatever that comes with mm. Zion Yeah. You know there's there's a mention of Rahab mm-hmm. there. Mm. Rahab was a prostitute. Mm-hmm. Do you know the shame the guilt mm-hmm. and all the risks mm. that come <laughs> with that title. Mm. Yeah. But then I can just imagine Rahab singing one day. Mm. A tent or a cottage oh why should I care mm. he's building a palace for me over there mm. though exile from home yet still mm. i may sing all glory to god amen i'm the child of a king amen, amen. you know at last she was saved mm-hmm. and when we study the word it says by faith mm-hmm. rahab mm-hmm. by faith mm-hmm. you know rahab is is put in the category of people Mm. like Abraham. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone who really walked with God. Yeah. You with know, Enoch. Really really goes on to show that when the Lord reaches you. Mm-hmm. When the Lord has spoken to you, mm-hmm. dear viewer. Mm. When the Lord has shown you what we ought to do. Mm. Then let us not make our hearts mm-hmm. hard. Yeah yeah because you know Psalms 87 truly points to salvation mm. Mm. salvation that is not hidden to anyone mm. that's why it says that Zion will rise above all mountains amen and it will be a place home of all nations mm-hmm. because you know the Jews only thought that salvation was for them mm-hmm. and the gentiles were outcast mm-hmm. but this psalm really portrays that salvation is for the Jews and the gentiles mm-hmm. amen and they are being united in one church through Christ redeeming ministry amen mm-hmm. yeah so that is a, david vision zion being a place of everyone mm-hmm. because if you say rahab how uh, let, let, let me go go back to see how, how will stephen mm-hmm. on the resurrection morning <laughs> when he sees mm-hmm. paul mm-hmm. Uh, and he has he, he has the many the many letters that Paul wrote mm. and the mission that Paul went mm-hmm. to and you say it's Christ mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this is all salvation that is open to anyone mm-hmm. and then 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 what you should take home here is salvation is for everyone amen. nobody is an outcast because Zion is a place of safety amen, amen. nobody is an outcast regardless of what you've done mm-hmm. but there's hope when we look unto him look look and live look and live so safety and peace of zion mm. regardless of zion being a place of safety <laughs> and uh, abiding in god there's safety there's peace mm. but now we want to speak about 
safety and peace of Zion. Mm. There are many toils and uh, turmoil in the world that you're living in. Mm. People are fighting everywhere. And there's no peace. Mm-hmm. People, the, 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 bro- the love for our brothers has gone mm. cold. It's so cold, even, even siblings now kill each other. As you, as you read in today, mm-hmm. the contemporary world, mm-hmm. people are killing each other. So the young people like us, mm. some lose their lives at 18, at 20, where now things start, they, where now the journey begins, you know. Mm. And now we, we, we want to speak about safety mm. and peace of Zion. Mm-hmm. And Psalms 46, 1 to 7 mm-hmm. speaks about, there's a poet, po- poetically depic- de- depiction here of, of things are not well in Zion mm-hmm. now. Th- things are up and down. Mm-hmm. And uh, how, 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 how should we, 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 we go through these situations? Mm-hmm. Because now we, as we, we have way of studies, we studied previously that in, in, the, in Zion, this peace, mm-hmm. it's a home for all nations. Mm-hmm. And uh, one day, Abiding in the Lord mm-hmm. is far much better than a thousand days. Mm-hmm. But what I love with our Lord is that He says that the journey will not be smooth. Will not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how, 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 what what to do? How do we go through these these, these situations? In in Psalms mm. forty six, mm. what I love about the psalmist is mm. how he uses his talent mm. of 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 writing mm. of language. Mm. To express himself and mm. and bring out it, his his points clearly, mm. something to be said about using our talents mm. for the goodness mm. of, of uh, propagating the gospel. Mm. Mm. In Psalms forty six verse three, mm. sorry, I'll I'll begin from verse two. Mm. Therefore, mm. we will not fear, mm-hmm. though the earth be removed. Mm. And though the mountains be mm. carried mm-hmm. in the midst of the sea, mm. to me this seems uh, like you have a a, a desk, mm-hmm. a study desk, mm. and you have arranged your your books properly. Mm-hmm. And suddenly, uh, someone else comes in into the picture, and uh, the books that you have had placed, uh, mm-hmm. labeled social studies in their shelf, mm-hmm. are taken to the math <laughs> section. <laughs> there's this disarrangement and disarray in this in this in, uh, in mm. this picture there's mm. a picture of chaos here mm. mm-hmm. that the waters mm. roar and be troubled mm-hmm. and the mountains mm. are shaken mm-hmm. with the swelling thereof mm. the picture of of peace here is taken away Completely. Mm-hmm. There's no trouble. There's trouble. There's trouble in paradise. <laughs> There's trouble in paradise. Uh. But then he he goes on to give us the he draws a parallel between the world that we live in currently mm-hmm. and mm. what he wishes for us to know mm. in Psalms forty six. Mm. But then still mm. Uh, there's something that uh, that 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 we see. He mm. does not leave mm. you there hanging. Mm. Mm. He doesn't leave you there, Sister Claire. Mm. What does he goes on to sh- to show us? That God is the midst of her; mm. she shall not be moved. Mm. God shall help her, mm-hmm. and that right early. Mm. That uh, verse seven also says that the Lord of hosts. Is mm. with us. Mm. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Mm-hmm. That through amidst all this uh, trouble, mm. yeah, the mountains be moving. Huh? Mm. W- verse two was saying about uh, though the even the earth be moved and even mountains be carried on to the midst of the sea. Mm. Can you imagine how uh, or the magnitude of these skills and disruptions? But because there is, verse 3 says that though the waters mm. thereof roar mm. and be troubled, mm. that though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, that there is a river, mm. the streams whereof mm. shall make glad the city of God, mm. the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High, that there, there, is, there is a river, that there is a stream that makes glad of God, mm. the holy place of the tabernacles mm. of the most high. So it really it really gives a uh, peace that is in 
God, mm-hmm. peace that is in Zion, a place of refuge where people run to, or the hope that people have in God, mm-hmm. and at the what do we call it? The how the trust that they have in God, mm-hmm. that even though all manner of things happen in the mm-hmm. world, there is peace in God. Mm-hmm. But if, even though you know, s- sometimes perhaps mm-hmm. uh, there can be so much trouble around the place that you are in mm. does not really mean right now the only refuge that we have is having Christ in our hearts. Mm. Then that gives us peace. Mm. Yeah. Having having Christ in our hearts, mm. it's peace enough for us. He's our refuge. Mm. In him we take refuge and though anything happens mm. in the world, mm. we still can trust him when he's in our hearts. Mm. We believe in him. Mm. Yeah. In Psalms 46. Mm-hmm. One, mm. God is our refuge and mm. strength, mm-hmm. a very present mm. help. Mm-hmm. A very present help. Mm-hmm. We ought not to linger. Mm-hmm. Just look and be saved. Uh, just look and be saved because, uh, you, you, you know, it's verse 6 of the, the, the same Psalm 47, 46, mm. says the nation reigned, the kingdoms were moved. Mm. He heard his voice. Mm. The heart melted. melted. Mm. Mm. And uh, I think it's time. But still know that I'm God. I will be exalted among the nation. Mm-hmm. I'll be exalted on earth. Mm-hmm. Amen. Nine now says he makes war cease to the hand of the earth. Mm-hmm. He breaks the bow and casts the spear mm-hmm. into two. He burns the chariot in the, in the fire. fire. Which means the, 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 there's, a, there's a way where God now reacts to all this the, the discord mm-hmm. that is here. And he gives them assurance that... He spoke and the heart melted. And now there comes my question. And it's also a question to our, our dear viewers. That how do we learn to have peace and trust in God? I mean a world that indeed has so much turmoil. Mm. As, we, as I said highly, you know, we're living in a world where not everything is in the right place. Because things are not well. Most of mm. the young people, it's a, it's a world of up and down. Mm. It's a world where... Things may not go your way until you you, you lose trust that hey, is, is God really with me, mm-hmm. um, or am I serving the the true God? You know, I was having a conversation with my friend uh, 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 last week, mm-hmm. and they speak about these people whom you, you graduate immediately, you have a job, mm-hmm. and uh, he, before even a year ends, he, uh, another offer, mm-hmm. and you you you. you since graduation, <laughs> even your emails don't come back. Yes. <laughs> and you ask yourself, is this God real, real there? Yeah. So uh, how can you advise a young person or, or anybody who is in a, in, a, in a situation where things are in discord? Mm. Mm. Things are in discord. Yes, you, you say that in, in, in God there's peace, but things are in discord in his life. His life is not in peace. What advice can you give to such a person? I would ask that person to look back mm. and remember from where he has come. Mm. Um, to read, uh, so again, I refer them to Psalm 84 verse 5, mm. that how blessed mm. is the man whose strength is in you, mm-hmm. in whose heart mm-hmm. are the highways to Zion. Mm-hmm. Again, back to Zion. Mm. But, but um, this world is full of troubles, of trials, of mm. trauma, of I mean, of very many things. Mm. But uh, we still just be faithful to God. Mm -hmm. He rewards Mm. at his own time. Mm -hmm. And also, this hope will keep us going. Mm. Remember, we are are just, we are also pilgrims Mm -hmm. in this earth. Mm -hmm. The earth will one day go Mm -hmm. and there will be a kingdom of God Mm -hmm. that will be peaceful forever. There will be no trials. There will be no troubles. Mm. Uh, there was a commentary talking about, you know, Enoch mm-hmm. and how he remained faithful. It didn't mean that mm. in Enoch's time there were no troubles, there were no trials, but he chose, mm. he chose to be. Mm. So choose to do the right thing. Mm. Choose to mm. walk with God. Mm-hmm. Choose to uh, meditate on his word, uh, pray mm. and study his word. Mm. Have hope in him. Mm. He's God. Mm. God is still God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, because there's a saying that uh, the goal on earth is not to be so prosperous, but to be faithful. Mm. Amen. Because having faith in God, then all these things will be added unto us. Mm. Uh, now, last but not least, immovable like Mount Zion. Mm-hmm. That, uh, that those who trust in the Lord are compared to Mount Zion, the symbol of steadfastness mm-hmm. and strength. 
why are those who trust in God so compared to Mount Zion? And why is Mount Zion so depicted in the Bible as it's something that it's immovable, it's so steadfast, it's so firm. Yeah. We have spoken about mm. the might of God. Mm. Mm-hmm. We have spoken about the Lord owning the whole mm. earth. Mm. Mm-hmm. We have spoken about the just judgment mm. of God. Mm. We have basically spoken about the Lord mm. being over all. Mm. Not just that, mm-hmm. but the, long, the Lord being our Savior mm-hmm. and our Father. Mm. Mm. If you were to confide mm. in Him, in Zion, mm. you know, this, this reminds me of uh, the cities of refuge in the Bible, where cities were built, mm. and if you had done something that, wa- that warranted you to die, you, you were to run mm. to those cities of refuge, mm-hmm. and you will be saved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Christ here mm-hmm. is a refuge mm-hmm. to us. Mm-hmm. And surely if you go to him mm-hmm. seeking his help, mm-hmm. like the cities of refuge, mm-hmm. you shall not perish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is the eternal hope that we have mm-hmm. as Christians. Mm-hmm. Even as we long to inherit that uh-huh. kingdom that is coming, mm-hmm. the Zion, the new heaven, mm-hmm. and the new earth. Uh-huh. Mount Zion is being depicted as a... It's, as a as a symbol of a mountain which is 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 built upon trust mm. upon the the foundations of God's love mm. and God's government and it's God God's uh, law mm. you know in Psalms 125 uh, 3 let, let, let's let's read 3 3 to 5 oh, 125 3 mm. uh, the bible says mm. have mercy upon us O lord mm-hmm. have mercy upon us mm. But we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Our soul mm. is exceedingly filled mm. with the scorning of those that are at ease and even, no, sorry, and with the contempt of the proud. Good mm. mm. students can be discouraged by the success of the wicked at times, you, you know, mm. and, the, and perhaps tempted to follow their ways. Mm. Mm. The uttermost stability of Mount Zion cannot secure those who depart from the Lord. Amen. Because we have only this stability when mm. we abide with the Lord. Amen. Mm. But anytime we depart from the Lord, it's the same way our our first parents departed from the Lord, they become indisciplined and departed from from what the Lord had said. Mm. Then the steadfastness that we is depicted here about Mount Zion, we cannot have it. The the the, the unapostavity of Mount Zion cannot cannot secure those who depart from the Lord. And we are still given freedom to put forth our hands unto iniquity mm. and turn aside our crooked ways. Mm. How good is the Lord? Mm. Because we know the good is, the Lord is a just God and at the same time he's a merciful, merciful. God. Justice calls for punishment for mm. sin. And mercy comes where now we draw back. Mm. We ask for forgiveness and we accept that we have done wrong and mm. we go back to God. So uh, something that we should a lesson that we should take home here is that ever much we've learned about Mount Zion being immovable, abiding with the Lord, we are immovable. Because uh, uh, if you remember from last week's lesson, we learned that our only strength, our strength cannot give us, a, cannot give us the, 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 let's say, the assurance to beat evil, to beat uh, temptations, to beat uh, sin. But we should trust God. So there comes my question. How are, how, are, how are we tempted? How are we tempted? And uh, from these temptations, what do we learn from them? Because as we, we've learned from Psalms 125, that yes, Mount Zion is immovable. And abiding in God, we are immovable. But how are we tempted? Now in our daily lives, mm. we do not live in heaven. Mm-hmm. We live on earth. Mm-hmm. Among people who some are unbelievers mm. mm. in dire need mm. of the gospel. Mm. And yet because of the human nature, mm. oftentimes mm. we are drawn to do wrong things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it goes without saying mm-hmm. that birds of a feather flock mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and 
and as, as Christians mm. we we are usually tempted mm. to do that which is wrong mm-hmm. because much of the times of what we have seen what we wish to do mm-hmm. what our hearts mm. desire to do as you had said before mm. but then even after all this mm. we always go back to that hope mm-hmm. And the Lord is our ever present help mm. in the times of trouble. Mm. Amen. You know when you are in a particular place and mm. you are the only person mm-hmm. doing the right thing, mm. it's so easy to be swayed. Mm. So easy and it's so easy to draw a bit back and say, "Eh, mm-hmm. am I really doing the right thing?" Mm. So easily. But today Christians are urged to be immovable like Mount Zion. Mm. Such when Poland said, you know w- when Moses was instructing people and when he was giving them um, the other laws apart from the 10 laws that were supposed mm. to gain their daily mm. to daily lives, how they should live. There were cities built mm. for refuge, especially for murderers because once a person has killed, mm-hmm. they needed a place to go because people would mm. avenge or the death of someone so easily and even maybe also leads them to killing someone else mm. so there was city of refuge so also zion is a city of refuge for many so christians are urged such like the same way they throw their lives mm-hmm. zion has never moved you know mm-hmm. there's no way they needed a refuge and there was no refuge for them they should be as such mm-hmm. immovable their faith and trust should be in god mm-hmm. that even though you know the those who do wicked mm-hmm. really they mock those who do the right it reminds me also uh, i was reading uh you know when when uh, the di- the disciples of christ i think after after christ had gone they received a lot of mockery from people mm-hmm. it was so easy for them to give up and say hey we give up uh, let's just close business and go but the, rather they endured mm-hmm. and they moved so it does not mean that uh, there will be no temptation it does not mean that uh, mm. there won't be people pointing fingers and people who make you feel bad mm-hmm. you know when uh, the verse that i read in psalm 123 mm-hmm. verse 4 mm-hmm. the bible says that our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those mm. that are at ease and with the contempt of the mm. proud so really there will be a lot of mockery there will be a lot of things but we should really be immovable like zion mm. steadfast yeah mm-hmm. and hold really to the ground mm-hmm. yeah yeah because you know some 25:3 says for the skept of the wicked they shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteousness mm-hmm. lest the righteous reach out their hands iniquity do good hollow to those who are good and those and to those who are upright in their hearts for for such as turn aside to their crooked ways the lord shall lead them away with their workers of iniquity mm-hmm. so it means we have an assurance that if we do not reach our hands to iniquity mm-hmm. but trust in the lord you are immovable mm-hmm. and we we are firm amen, amen. like mount zion and also we, we we are also being encouraged to abide in the lord forever it's not only for a season when things are good <laughs> you know christians are so funny when things are good but to abide forever mm. yeah so as we come to a close of this week's lesson mm-hmm. which has been a uh, fascinating and a blessing to us what's our parting shot to our dear viewers well i'd, I'd really encourage each and every one of us in our daily lives mm-hmm. to remember why we are Christians remember why we are seventh day adventists and why we have been given this message mm. to give it to other people in the world then and mm. only then mm. will we know how to approach people mm. and will we, will we know mm. how to propagate the gospel that we may not also lead others mm. to give up mm. and leave the faith amen amen, amen. Mm. um i would love to assure the viewer that uh, there is hope for mm. everyone and uh, we, sh- we 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 should we should trust in god really mm. we have read about zion yeah and how the sons of korah you know they are, 
they, they were not treasures as well you know but they had experienced the mercy the love of god so it's also a reminder to us mm. that god loves us we should trust in him mm. we should be like mount zion and we will journey on we are we are pil- pilgrims in this journey and this earth should not be our home we have been reminded of zion where we belong so our eyes should be fixed to zion let us begin this journey towards zion amen amen and so we have come to the end of this lesson and it has been a blessing i hope our dear viewer you have been blessed and uh, we we hope that you will be blessed and also pray that the lord may be with us that our hearts belong mm. for zion and also till we meet again next week amen, amen. Like so pray we pray then but Uh, let's pray. Thank you dear Jesus for the reminder that you've given unto us. May we have hope in you, O Lord God. May you dwell in our hearts, O Lord God, because there then there will be peace with you, O Lord God, and we will move on to spread your word amongst those who we live with. Thank you so much, O Lord God, for everyone. May your grace, your mercy, your goodness be with us till we meet again. For this I pray believing and trusting in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.